Hey guys, so welcome to my amazing channel. I am officially starting a new chapter with you all. My name is Kito. I don't know if you guys can see me properly. Hi, my name is Kito and um, I know this might not look very professional to a lot of you out there, but this is my good attempt, my good push in um, and doing this video literally it's um it's it means a lot to me to actually come out here and do youtube because i find or i feel or see youtube to be a good opportunity for me to not go through all the hoops of hollywood you know just to put out content this kind of like makes it short in a simple way where we can directly connect with you all until we can do our own coding do our own website our own keto tube channel <laughs> or from our own internet but until then i'm just thankful for the opportunity to actually reach out with to you all because my intention is talk about myself talk about a lot of, i feel like tv per se the media you know, Oprah, a lot of them have actually helped empower me in life. They've helped me have a really good life. And I just feel like giving into it, giving into that energy, into that space, it just feels very natural. It feels very me. It feels very, yes, let's do this. What are we saying? We're saying the intention is to just give. Give to what has been feeding us well. Giving me good life too. You know, a lot of the self-help books, a lot of the self-help audiobooks, a lot of the um, self-help seminars we've invested heavily in. We've been very focused on, gone to so many, you know, um, shows and all of it. Basically, how has really helped me, you know? So I'm here to just feed in, give into that. Basically, that's what you're probably going to be seeing from me you know so let me even first of all introduce myself properly or in a good way my name is Keto Chukwazuke and I am from um, earth basically I am a huge ah oh god okay so I grew up in Africa and I was exposed to um, again, a lot of seminars, a lot of people doing motivational, inspirational conversations up and down. And obviously, we went to a lot of churches, but then I also studied religious study. And I kind of felt like a religious study on like different other religions. And I felt like I kind of got curious about people in general and why people are who they are and, what's, and why they do what they do. So I went from all of that to um i remember getting involved even during that, those times in lot involved in a lot of programs you know and, and touring africa basically and meeting a lot of really good phenomenal people and just seeing that well, the world isn't as the world isn't bad there's a really there's really a lot of good going on on earth and it, it's just good to hear and see and feel people talk about the good please forgive the background okay guys this is me doing my best to push myself after relaxing, chilling, watching a movie. A good movie that just flipping inspires me. I'm like, you know, before I tidy up my back, let me talk to you guys, okay? And then go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, so for me, it's like I have... I, I, I you know, I, I grew up reading a lot of really good books too. Like from Mother Theresa, Martin Luther, the, the Lutheran, you know, Nelson Mandela. Not that much, but yeah. I watched mo mostly his movies, if anything, um, or maybe not, but um, Oprah definitely um, and Sojourn on Truth, just being inspired by many people and presently I have been inspired by the likes of Harriet Todman, um, who else? Um, a bit of, who else? Louise Hay. Louise Hay, thank you, Louise Hay. We're Dr. in Dyer, um, Deepak Chopra, Ekator, but Louis Hay and, Deepak, uh, and, and Dr. Wayne Dyer have been, I remember just getting a lot of their books, honestly, like, 
<laughs> Should I be start showing the books? Child, let me really show you guys. But what's the intention of showing you the book? Take my word. <laughs> what's the intention? And yeah, so for me it's like um I'm excited. I'm excited to just pour out a lot of the good things I read about about how self-worth is so important to love yourself in abundance take good care of yourself you know um, um start with yourself love people all people uh appreciate people man forgive forgive is the one thing i have i, I thought forgiving was ah okay just forgive and keep no forgive is also in the doing you know not holding things against people if you choose to bless somebody bless the person please please don't hold things against people if you can you know and then um also do my best to to it's okay not to get it's not it's okay not to agree but disagree but still keep it moving and keep loving you it, i don't have to love you to your face like i love you to your face i can also love you when i'm firing from you too so that to me is, is very empowering you know it's very beautiful and and um yeah just being fly and being good with yourself man moisturizing you know um staying happy being happy and just surrounding yourself with really good people because really life is about having good people in your life because people i keep singing good people people are energy ha huh, jesus take the wheel people are energy let me tell you something about intention intention is so important guys it's one thing to have in quotes a so-called white slave master that mother that treats you good treats you well treats you with love treats you with respect gives you good food gives you good clothing whatever the label is as long as the intention is good the intention is with love that's phenomenal that to have a so-called um husband or a so-called girlfriend who you know she could come and say all the good nice words to you preach the gospel be about you like talk about being about you sorry maybe not being about you but talking about being about you loving you supporting you talking about it but when it comes to doing it girl bye girl bye she she is um she might not even exist <laughs> in showing you that love and I think for me, it's something that's something that has, I have that I've, I've been like, wow, I've been amazed. I'm like, girl, you just it was your intention for good for me. So there is value in intention. There is value because even when people F up, you recognize the intention and the intention is going to be shown somehow through their action. So for me, intent this power and intention, man, and what what i'm when i mentioned the slave master no maybe not the slave master no one deserves to be nobody's slave okay no not this you know if you don't mind please not the slave master but i'm referring to like in terms of like relationship like my daddy loves me very much as far as i'm concerned he could feel the way he chooses to feel but i can feel the way i choose to feel and i choose to accept that he loves me for good and for me is my dad could call me out of my name and i could take it as his intention is for good i don't have anything against i'm not like i'm not holding anything against him because probably the way he's delivering his love is probably influenced by wherever he you know his background like however he grew up whatever time you know like whatever happened during his time i'm not trying to excuse the behavior i'm not even trying to say it's okay to insult people but when people show you that they genuinely love you they have that good intention towards you they're even willing to hear your love language you be like listen don't talk to me that way they're like okay for sure you know i hear you i see you i won't talk to you i'll address you in a way that you know isn't befitting to you beautiful people good people out there they're willing to listen but people who could come with the smiles and you know they say all the nice words but you can feel they might be fraud mm -hmm. <laughs> people like this i have to first of all i would even question how the bleep did my aura come close to you then that means there's something of me I need to check within myself before I even start checking you out. 
to understand how my path, I, love attracted into your path. So, I don't even try to even diffuse or understand. I just run away. I run away and I, and I go and cleanse myself and I do my best to understand myself. How did I end up? What I'm saying in general is I intentionally do my best to show people with love because again, what you give, you get. What you reap is you sow. Isn't that what the Bible says? Isn't that what all your religious books talk about? And I know everything I'm probably saying is everywhere, maybe to you guys, but to me, it's somewhere in the sense where I've had to learn to forgive people and I've had to use scenarios like this or like that to to learn and say maybe you know what I need to keep digging into my self-help and keep working on myself on my intention and especially the way I treat people you know because I'm not about to be getting frauds in my life god forbid I say no to that and so if I don't be getting frauds in my life in my own opinion I haven't seen frauds thankful for the good people <laughs> but basically um and that was yesterday you don't know tomorrow you know people change but i do my best intentionally give good love out there because you're going surprised when i get the good love back oh when i get the good love it probably might not be from you but best believe it's for many other good people actually it's from you thank you so yeah, that's basically um, like me talking to you guys, me talking to myself and you guys just benefiting from me. It's basically, I'm just here to love, 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 enjoy the moment, talk about, share wisdom. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Am I old enough to say that? And dance, bond, maybe talk about... Yeah, actually, for sure, talk about love. Focus is love here. And, um, yeah. And I don't think anybody's a fraud, to be honest with you. I don't really think anybody intentionally goes out to hurt people. I feel like people behave the way they probably know how to, obviously. Like, that's maybe the way they can relate with you. But for me, is how am I going to allow you to treat me? That's what it is. If, if 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 your love language is to try and be funny behind closed doors and it's to curse out and to attack and it's to be abusive, if, if the intention is there, good intention is there, then you listen to me when I say I'm not about that life. Please, no, not here, not in this space. But if not, bye, Felicia. Don't worry, you're in the past. Stay there, die there. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, don't die there, stay alive there, but basically just me doing my best to just make this a diary, and sometimes I feel like you'd have to do your best to understand me for, to understand like where all my conversations are coming from, where everything I'm saying is coming from, because I might just go on and on and on, and you'd be like, what the fuck is she saying? I'd be like... Yeah, you understand what I'm saying because you are like me. We're like, we're, we're, we, the way I talk is kind of like the way you think. <laughs> so it's good. I'm not here to make this so serious to the point where I can't even watch myself. No, when I'm watching this, trust me, I'll probably be watching this every single time by the grace of God. I'm going to be looking at myself and be like, yo, I look fine and I, I'm doing this video. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in to the one of you, to the two of you, three of you, four of you, one millionth of you, ten billion of you. I appreciate you all. God bless you. And, uh, welcome to a good phase. I've been doing this, you know, um, for some time, but my heart is just telling me to come out and speak to you guys. I got dressed to impress. Did I do something here? Do, do I look good? Do I impress you all? Do I count to you all? But I do. <laughs>